This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. In Philadelphia, I'm Haley Wilgus joining you from the Wells Fargo Center. In just a few minutes later in our newscast, we'll be bringing you the latest developments from day two of the Democratic National Convention. Thank you, Haley. And just like Tuesday of last week at the RNC, this Tuesday at the DNC, it is now official. The party has its nominee for president, and it's Hillary Clinton. The former Secretary of State becoming the first woman in U.S. history to become the nominee of a major political party. After it became official, Clinton tweeted a picture with one word, history. In a symbolic gesture, her primary rival, Senator Bernie Sanders, named was also placed into nomination, giving his delegates an opportunity to speak at the convention, and it ended up being Sanders himself finishing the roll call by urging Clinton be selected as the party's nominee. Meanwhile, among the speakers tonight, former Attorney General Eric Holder, DNC Vice Chair Donna Brazil, and the headliner, the former President Bill Clinton. She's a natural leader, she's a good organizer, and she's the best darn change maker I ever met in my entire life. We will celebrate together the inauguration of President Hillary Clinton in January 2017. Already great nation. Donald, did you hear me? Already great nation. Meanwhile, there was a growing number of protesters in the streets of Philadelphia tonight, from Sanders supporters to members of Black Lives Matter movement, some with signs reading Stop Killing Black People, others with signs in support of Sanders and the Green Party candidate, Dr. Jill Stein, reissued her call today for the Vermont senator to meet with the part, party and, quote, discuss potential collaboration. Further highlighting the importance of Florida in November, Donald Trump is in the Sunshine State this week. The Republican presidential nominee attending a private fundraiser in Tampa today and is scheduled to speak at Trump National Doral in South Florida tomorrow morning. The event is also not open to the public. He'll also be making an appearance in Pennsylvania and Ohio, two other key swing states. Here on the Sun Coast, another step forward for another major road project. Uh, this one near B Ridge Road in Sarasota. ABC 7's Ray Collins is back from a public hearing with the latest tonight. Ray. Scott, we have the diverging diamond around the new mall. We also have an ongoing B Ridge Road project right now. And now another plan around B Ridge and Cattlemen, but not everybody loves this project. B Ridge Road near the interstate in Cattlemen is usually one congested area. Spacing between B Ridge and Cattlemen intersection to the interchange itself of I-75 is substandard. It's way too close. So get this, part of the state's plan is to build a diversion off-ramp off I-75. That is, southbound traffic would go beyond the usual B Ridge exit and come out directly to Cattlemen around Home Depot and Walmart, not far from the Wilkinson Road area. And some residents there aren't pleased. I'm really upset. Nancy Cavanaugh was among those who came to this Florida DOT workshop. She made it clear she doesn't want a so-called diversion off-ramp near her house. It's blocking my whole route home and to work. And I just don't, I don't know what it's going to do to our property values. And I also don't know, I mean, that's a huge amount of traffic. A lot of folks here are scratching their heads. They don't like it. Is it too late for their input, or might you still tweak some parts of this? So that's why we're here. You know, this is our, we've done three public workshops on this project, and now we're here to the public hearing for the public input. We've already made one change at the result of the February public uh, workshop, and we rolled it out in May. Kevin Ingalls says they've already altered this diversion off-ramp once, and it's not clear if they'll do it again. He says this proposal is still years away and wouldn't even begin until after the current B Ridge project is done. Residents like Dennis Starkey say all this road work is the cost of living in a growing area. Communities all over the United States have had to deal with this for years. Uh, Sarasota is growing like crazy, and we're having to have some of the same pains that other people around the United States have been having for the last 30, 40 years. So this project wouldn't start anytime soon. In fact, the project manager says best case scenario, best case it starts in three years, but even that is unlikely, Scott. And so, Ray, this isn't going to overlap with the current ongoing Diverging Diamond Project at University Parkway. No, not at all. That is set to be complete in about a year, and this one won't start for at least three years, and maybe even longer. Okay. All right, Ray, thank you so much.
Time now to get a check on our weather this evening. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan keeping a watch of things, even some storms out there tonight, Bob. Yeah, some rubble of thunder here in downtown Sarasota as a result of a late night storm that has popped up. As a result of the very warm temperatures still around, 87 degrees at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport, and the dew point is uh, not all that high at 73 degrees, but nonetheless, you can see that one lone area of showers, some outflow boundaries continue to uh, bring some isolated showers across parts of the Sun Coast this evening. This one uh, taking off uh, toward Lido and also the southern end of Longbow Key right now. And I mentioned a few lightning strikes have already occurred uh, in downtown Sarasota and also right there on the Ringling Bridge and in Sarasota Bay near Beach Road and the north end of Siesta Key getting some rainfall. This will continue to move off toward the west northwest and eventually wind on down here in the next half hour or so. Elsewhere across the area, some heavier storms located uh, to the north of us in Hillsborough County. Well, much more on the forecast. Let's do what Wednesday uh, holds coming up in just a few minutes, Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. Construction on a long delayed and controversial lift station project in Sarasota will begin soon. The project is expected to cost $32 million and will replace an outdated wastewater facility. It will be done in three phases and include micro tunneling under the Hudson Bayou and construction of a new lift station 87 facility. This will force the closure of the Osprey Avenue Bridge starting on August 1st. City officials say this project is essential because it will take the place of an obsolete lift station. The lift station 7, it's, it's nearing the end of its life and it does serve one third of the city. So there, there's a very significant importance to lift this lift station and transporting the wastewater to the treatment plant on 12th Street for processing. And it's going to take a while. This project won't be finished until 2020. As for the Osprey Bridge, it's expected to be closed for at least one year. It could be another two days until the fire on Egmont Key is 100% out. But tonight, U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials say the blaze is under control. An estimated 50 to 100 acres have burned so far. There has been no damage to historical structures there on the key, and officials don't anticipate any. Fish and Wildlife is joined by the Forest Service, DEP, and Tampa Fire Rescue in battling the, fight, the blaze. No one lives on Egma Key, but it is a popular spot for boaters. The refuge and state park will remain closed for now. The DEP says the fire was sparked by lightning. Longbow Key officials are moving away from traps to tranquilizers in their effort to remove some of the peacocks from the island. Many residents have complained about damage done to their property and the mess the, these birds leave behind. For months, a contractor has been using traps, but since that hasn't been working, Longbow Key officials have opted for a more expensive approach. They say it's also more efficient, and that's tranquilizing the birds. The birds are then relocated to a sanctuary. Still, the birds' removal continues to be met with some mixed reactions. They make a mess in the driveways. They will roost in the uh, yards uh, if no one's around. I, I prefer they wouldn't actually move them. Like I said, I don't see any problem with the peacocks. Uh, people that moved here know that they're around here. Officials say they've caught 41 peacocks and that an estimated 20 to 25 still remain. Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back. He'll have the official Suncoast forecast. Plus, we'll head back out to Philadelphia, where Haley Wilkes will be joined by Alan Cohn for our special live coverage from the DNC. And plans for new water standards moving forward in Florida. We'll have those details coming up. Across America with Mega Jackpots, it's Mega Millions. What's up, America? I'm John Crote. It's Tuesday, July 26, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annuitized $15 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold Mega Ball. Now, let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is four. That's followed by 36. Up next, we have one. Your next number is 54, and your final white ball for this Tuesday evening is... 31. Now for the Mega Ball. Tonight's Mega Ball number is 9. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 4, 36, 1, 54, 31, and the gold Mega Ball is 9. Now, if no one matches all six numbers, Friday's jackpot could be $20 million. Good luck and play on, America. Shop GoWildHonda.com. Lease a new Civic for $174 and no down payment, just $174. Get great clearance deals now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's got to be wild. Hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? ABC7 has the information you need. Access our special Surviving a Hurricane now. Learn how to prepare a readiness plan and survival kit. Know your evacuation route. Be prepared, Suncoast, when severe weather threatens. Access our special on our ABC7 app and 
all our live streaming platforms. Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke, and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care right at home. Shop GoWildHonda.com. Lease a new Accord for $189 and no down payment. Just $189 or 0.9% APR. Get great clearance deals now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's got to be wild. We can hear the thunder right outside right. our studio. Absolutely. Some people waking up to that, yeah. too, especially on Lumbo Key. And Lido uh, looks like uh, some thunder around. Earlier tonight, though, not a problem. I was able to see the International Space Station Perfect. go on by. A lot of people were able to do that. If you didn't get it tonight, uh, you can watch it tomorrow morning. But I don't know if you're going to be able to get up that early. <laughs> 536. Nope. From the north-northwest uh, to the east-southeast, it will travel six-minute duration uh, once again. Uh, so it should be pretty good. I'm not going to be up that hour. The sky should be clear, though. <laughs> Uh, earlier today and tonight, uh, this is not Lakewood Ranch, but this is actually Casey Key showing the nice sunset tonight with a few clouds around, but it did make for a gorgeous sunset and it looks like uh, skies are starting to cloud back up tonight as a result of some late night energy moving across. Fred Seeger getting a nice shot for Siesta Key and one of the lifeguard stands there and well, this was a nice beautiful sunset there on Siesta as well. Appreciate those shots. Keep them coming into uh, pics at mysuncoast.com. Here's a look at the Titan radar picture showing the activity moving from the southeast to the northwest. It's been limited uh, throughout the day today, and we'll see similar conditions again tomorrow. Uh, some late night storms up in the Hillsboro, but the activity that is bringing some rumble of thunder here along the Sun Coast is now out on the southern end of Lombo Key, also on Toledo, even on the north end of Siesta Key, getting some lightning strikes there. This will quickly move off toward the northwest and should be out of the uh, islands in the next, I would say, 20 minutes. It should be all over uh, for those folks. And then one lone storm popping up here along State Road 64 into Manatee County, heading off toward the west-northwest as well. Uh, that, too, could generate some lightning here. It's the outflow boundary. You can see that boundary uh, kind of moving off in that direction. Uh, as far as rainfall totals go today, not a lot of heavy widespread rainfall, but we did get some action up to about an inch near Parish and southward. Lesser amounts down into Inglewood, uh, nearly a half inch of rain there, and uh, Venice getting nearly an inch of rain. Currently, we have some clouds around 85 degrees. The dew point has just jumped up within the last half hour. It's at 76 degrees, humidity at 74%. Winds are calm and the pressure of 30.09 inches. Uh, the feels like temperature factor all that in is 94 degrees right now. That's what it feels like outside, at least near the airport. That was our high today, too. Well above the average of 90, not close to the record, though, 97, set back in 1923. No rainfall at the airport for today. We're below average over two inches there at the airport. 78 in Jacksonville. It's warm in Orlando and 82. 79 now in Miami. And temperatures around town all into the low 80s to mid 80s. And that is a direct result to the fact that we didn't get a lot of widespread heavy rainfall 
and uh, temperatures tomorrow will warm up. Uh, we'll start off right around 80 degrees and be in the low 90s uh, by 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's a chance for a few widely scattered showers and a few isolated thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. We're not expecting and anticipating a widespread rain event as a result of this dry air that's still kind of hanging around and will do so through Thursday. Eventually, the atmosphere will moisten up a little bit more so on Friday and especially over the weekend. The RPM forecast model showing tomorrow afternoon showers starting to pop up, scattered about, and then moving on. And then for uh, Thursday, uh, this particular model not showing much at all, kind of a few showers working their way up, but not many at all. And then by Friday, better chances for scattered showers. I think there's a chance we could see some rough weather on Saturday and Sunday in terms of those isolated afternoon storms. Some of those could become severe. Temperatures still warmer this hour near Washington, 85 degrees, 82 in Boston, 86 in Dallas and uh, Minneapolis at 83 currently and a boating forecast seas will be two feet or less with a light chop out there. Winds will switch around to the south in the afternoon. Water temperature uh, very warm 89 degrees and that's taken at the uh, end of the Venice Pier. High tide at 648 and a low tide will be at 253 tonight. Uh, isolated showers and a few thunderstorms coming to an end here in the next hour and 76 for your low tomorrow. A 30% chance for late day storms, which is a little bit below average. There'll still be a few around and the extended forecast does call for more typical afternoon and evening storms to come back to the weather picture by the weekend. Scott. All right, Bob, thank you. Now it's time to head back out to Philadelphia, where day two of the Democratic National Convention has just wrapped up. ABC 7's Haley Wilkes is joined by Alan Cohn at the Wells Fargo Center there in Philadelphia. Haley, Alan? Scott, a surprise to end the night. Hillary Clinton joined the crowd here via live video chat from New York, surrounded by a group of her supporters. And before that, former President Bill Clinton spoke to the crowd here, talked a lot about their relationship, tried to humanize her as more than just a politician, talked a little bit about how they met. But the most important moment of the day came earlier this evening when Hillary Clinton was officially nominated by the Democratic Party. And I've had the same thought go over and over in my mind tonight, which is tonight America is changed forever and so are the lives of women. So it is such a beautiful historical night for the USA. And Alan, Bernie Sanders spoke during that roll call vote. He did something a little unusual. He moved to suspend procedural rules, giving her the nomination by acclamation. He is leaving no doubt that he thinks it's important to elect Hillary Clinton and defeat Donald Trump. In fact, he showed up today at the Florida delegate breakfast and he told his supporters he is supporting Hillary Clinton and they should too. Now, that did not stop some of his supporters from storming out of this convention earlier tonight when Hillary Hillary went over the top, and that leaves some Hillary supporters like former Florida CFO Alex Sink saying that she understands. I understand it, uh, the disappointment. There's a grieving process going on, and uh, I, think, I think by the time we get to November, Alan, they'll, they'll be back because they realize how important this election is. And Bernie has said all the right things to his delegates, and I believe they'll be, we'll all be together at the end. Well, that's the big question, how things go for the rest of the week, because any party wants a uniformity of message, and the Democrats want that so they could get that convention bump and get back into the to the race with Donald Trump. And even some Bernie protests this evening, even though he is seeming to do everything in his power to get the, his supporters to move over and support Hillary Clinton. And Scott, a big moment tomorrow night. We're expecting President Obama to address the crowd. Back to you. Look forward to your coverage then. Thank you both. A reminder that we'll have the special live coverage from the Democratic National Convention all week. Haley Allen along with Adam Cellini are following the latest developments. Make sure to check our social media pages as well for video updates there too. In other news, a U.S. Senate candidate marched on Governor Rick Scott's office today with a bag of toxic algae samples from the St. Lucie estuary. Democrat Patrick Murphy tried to demonstrate the environmental hazards of the polluted water discharged from Lake Okeechobee. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection says there's little known about what causes toxic algae. Some suggest it's caused by pollution from septic systems. And according to Representative Murphy, climate change 
He says the governor declaring a state of emergency has not done enough to help the environment and industries affected by the toxic algae blooms. We have to continue looking at the projects that are underway that have been approved, get those things funded, stop pointing fingers, and do more. Meanwhile, the Environmental Regulation Commission has signed off on new standards that will increase the amount of cancer-causing toxins allowed in Florida's rivers and streams. It's part of a plan the state says will protect more Floridians than current standards. The Miami Herald reporting that under this proposal, acceptable levels of toxins will be increased for more than two dozen known carcinogens and decreased for 13 currently regulated chemicals. State officials back the plan, which still needs to be reviewed by the EPA because it places new rules on 39 other chemicals that are not currently regulated. The Suncoast Center for Independent Living celebrating its 26th anniversary of the, this year or tonight of the signing of the American with Disabilities Act. More than 100 people gathering for tonight's event. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates was this year's MC, and the festivities included a performance from American Idol finalist Lazaro Arbos. The Center for Independent Living says its goal is to remove barriers and prejudices in society so people with disabilities can live, work, and enjoy all the community offers. Organizers say tonight's event is a prime example of that. Sports is next. Stay with us. I'm Ray Collins. Day three of the DNC. Hillary Clinton, the first female nominee in U.S. history, will have the latest from Philadelphia. Tomorrow on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. like we're getting another new neighbor. Now you could be the millionaire next door. Play Monopoly Florida Edition scratch-off games with a top prize of $5 million. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Dog days of summer got you down? Beat the heat with huge summer savings during the summer clearance event going on now. At Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota, you'll feel cooler than ever when you drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999. Or take home a stylish new Jeep Renegade for just $18,599. How about a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999? Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call US Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now, and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. Now, sports. 
After a day off, the Rays back to work tonight, still out west. Tampa Bay trying to snap a three-game losing skid against the Dodgers. Right now, that game at the top of the sixth inning, it's 2-0 Dodgers. Chris Archer starting for the Rays tonight. He's still pitching for the Rays. The Rays with <clears throat> two hits and two errors tonight, and both L.A. runs were unearned. That game's still ongoing. We'll see if the Rays can pull it out. Roger Federer says he'll miss the Rio Olympics and the rest of the tennis season to protect his surgically repaired left knee. That means Federer will also miss the U.S. Open. Federer says he needs more rehabilitation after arthroscopic knee surgery back in February. <clears throat> the owner of a record 17 Grand Slam titles turns 35 on August 8th. He hasn't played since losing at Wimbledon in the semifinals there earlier this month. Golf's final major tees off Thursday in Springfield, New Jersey. Baltus Royal Golf Club hosting the PGA Championship this weekend. While many of golf's best are skipping the Olympics, they are all here to try to win a major. Jordan Spieth won two majors a year ago, but has come up empty so far this year. I set my own expectations so high, so have I met them this year? Um, not yet. I still can, based on the goals that we set for the year. I've improved in categories from last year that I wanted to improve in, and other categories just have, have diminished slightly. And it tees off Thursday, and it's a sign that football season is coming. Children clad in green and gold jerseys shared rides with some of their favorite football players. Today in Green Bay, the Packers kicking off training camp with the annual Dream Drive. Kids show up with their bikes and then wait for one of the players to hop on and ride to practice. While the players ride, the children carry their helmets. The tradition dates back to the Vince Lombardi era, and it is a terrific one. Really neat to see. As we look at sports, we'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers straight ahead. Stay with us. The all-new official Suncoast forecast, only on ABC7. You know what scares me? No electricity. Yeah, when this magical box suddenly stops working, I call the pros at Mr. Sparky and they send a superhero to save the day. How's it going, Pablo? It's going great, Mike. Pablo possesses amazing skill. He can perform incredible feats at blinding speed. Superhero. Couldn't have done it without you. Modest, too. Call 888 sparky Just to be clear, I don't live here. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass eBook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now 800-290-0352. 800-290-0352. So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota flooring. 
Looking for carpet? Look no further. Minnesota Flooring has smart strand carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Minnesota Flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Minnesota Flooring today. Well, tonight was Mega Millions. Play on. America. But tomorrow, <laughs> the Powerball jackpot is going to be a big one. It's now at $422 million. No one has won the Powerball Grand Prize since early May. The odds of winning are more than $292 million to one. But as they say, you've got to play to win. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I'll be picking up a ticket, I think, tomorrow. Just yeah. as you won, you know. Yeah. Yeah, see Why what not? happens. Give it a shot. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Nightline is next, or Jimmy Kimmel's next. Have a good night. <laughs>